Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about Intel's potential response to the upcoming Ryzen 3000 series of processors. And to be frank, it's really not that impressive. Now, as far as I can tell, this Foronix article is the origin of these rumors where in a Linux DRM kernel driver update, the Comet Lake processors, the CML processors, were patched into this updated kernel driver, which would presumably then be Intel's response to the upcoming Ryzen 3000 series chips. Now, the working theory right now is that this potential Intel Comet Lake refresh of Skylake, which would in fact be something like a 14 nanometer plus 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 architecture here would be this Skylake refresh with up to 10 cores available. Now with 10 cores, you would expect then to be 20 threads to combat any sort of Ryzen 3000 series chips. The problem that Intel's gonna have here is simply that at 10 cores and 20 threads, that still may not compete with the top tier Ryzen chips that are coming out if the 16 cores and 32 threads turns out to be true for the Ryzen 3000 chips. And especially if the Ryzen 3000 series of chips have a similar IPC to these uh, Skylake refreshes that Intel keeps pushing out of the door, then I'm not really sure this is gonna do a great job of combating Ryzen, especially because the price is likely gonna be in the realm of a 9900K currently, uh, which would be as of Amazon right now, is a $530 chip. Now it's entirely possible that Intel comes out and matches or beats an AMD price, especially if AMD's IPC does turn out to be on par or even close to on par with the current architecture from Intel. The problem is uh, with their manufacturing woes continuing and they're still not down to 10 nanometer at high yields, it doesn't seem likely that Intel's really able to compete with AMD because it looks like, or at least by all outward views, it looks like AMD's not really having the same issues with the TSMC seven nanometer process that Intel is currently having with its own 10 nanometer process. Now, of course, we won't know until Intel officially announces, confirms, denies, whatever the case may be, these new Comet Lake processors. But the rumor is that they will launch sometime around the AMD Ryzen 3000 series of chips, which would put them in probably late June, early July, which the current working rumor we have with the Ryzen launch is July 7th, which would make a lot of sense because 7-7-2019, the number seven, seven nanometer process, that would make a lot of sense from a marketing standpoint. So of course, we'll have to wait to see, but this is the current answer it looks like that Intel's gonna have. And I don't know that strapping more cores and more threads onto Intel's current architecture is gonna work out so well because AMD's architecture works extremely well with strapping more cores and more threads because it is by its nature a more modular architecture with those CCX modules. They can literally just be strapping on more CCX modules. That's sort of the premise of the Threadripper chips in general and the mainstream chips are no different. They're just sort of on a smaller scale than the Threadripper ones. On the other hand, Intel's microarchitecture that they're currently refreshing over and over and over again is based on Skylake, which was in no way designed to scale like this. In fact, I can't imagine when Skylake launched that Intel had predicted that they would be pushing that architecture up to really eight, 10, and you know, if they keep having more troubles with 10 nanometer, maybe even more than 10 cores, but I I just can't imagine that they designed those consumer chips thinking that someday on a consumer platform featuring that particular architecture, we would be seeing core and thread counts this high. And that's mostly because of course, they had expected by now to be well along 10 nanometer processes, if not beyond more towards seven nanometer processors. So Intel has definitely seen setback after setback. Meanwhile, AMD has seemingly, at least on the CPU side of things, not seen those same setbacks. And we're seeing that gap between AMD's technology and Intel's technology on the CPU side of things just close and close and close. And it looks like AMD might actually finally be legitimately catching Intel. But of course, I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think about this latest rumor? Is this a chip that you would really be excited to see hit the market at 10 core 20 thread uh, Skylake refresh once again? Let me know in those comments down below what you think. And of course, if you like this video, hey, give it a like, share, subscribe, comment, all those things help out a lot. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Who's Your Hardware. I'll leave that along the bottom of the screen. And of course, as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Who's Your Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.